construct an outpost? Nah. Buy an asteroid? Database of mining wings? What? Oh, this is showing me like what 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 can mine? All right, list mining ships and fleet. Yeah, I have some. An asteroid. It's taking. It's. I'm super confused. It's taking machinery from me. Oh, I, I'm getting one volatile and 32 ore. Okay, I was like, what am I getting? But it said it right there. Like nothing. That is not worthwhile. That is absolutely not worthwhile. Okay, we can. We turned off our thing, so we can. We can sell our stuff here. Um, they'll buy those for an all right price. Someone might buy them for way more, but no one, no one's buying them right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. Though they're not buying these for anything at all. I'm not selling those for 60 for low-tech blueprint. I want to learn that. If I haven't learned these, I'll learn them before we sell them. Okay, now I'll sell these off. Yeah, that's another 100 grand. Another 100 grand. That's not so bad. And then com directory, conta. Concerns my colonies. This is piracy. Yeah, so the, yeah, I got to pay 10 grand. Um, can we go ahead? A bunch of lore. Stand. Ponto likes when I stand instead of kneeling. An orbital fusion lamp. That is what I offer you. So this should give me Conta's good good graces or whatever. Um. Okay. Yeah. So so yeah. Conta's protection is gained and a negative 100 on the colonies. It's a one-time negative 100, but it's a permanent fusion lamp here. Um, and then, and then Conta's protection means that the pirates don't bother me as much, so. We're barely getting bothered by the Ludix, and that's it right now. Um, so it's gonna take, like, a year to get up to, to low impact on the, the colony. That's really good. And I could pay the Ludix off, but we're too poor. And I can't, I can't, I can't fight the fleet for the planet-killing bomb. That's, like, way, way too powerful right now. But the colony should take care of itself. Stability is... Negative three from the, the free port. All right, that sucks. I'm going to close the free port. I'll open it back up in a day. Um, I'll open it back up in just a, a mere moment. So Conta's then now... Um, they should... Yeah, they, they need these, like, desperately. Is anyone selling these, like, nearby? Yeah, I can buy them for ch super cheap over at Grenier. That's insane. I can make, like, almost, like, 10x profit. So I'll go buy Grenier, like, right now. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we won't even sell drugs anymore. Oh, actually, maybe we can buy drugs here. Maybe we will sell some drugs. Grenier might want drugs. They do! It's perfect! Grenier wants all the drugs. Um, well, let's buy them off the black market first. And then the rest off the uh, open market. Why is it buying, like, some and then and then more later? Oh, because they only had 400 excess. That's why. Okay, so how many drugs does Grenier want? Like, 800 total. Okay, that's close enough or whatever. Dude, we're going to make some money off this chat. We're going to make so much money selling drugs, buying volatiles, and then selling those. Um, we, we we might have enough money to get, like, a real a real fleet going again. Like, a couple more good ships in the uh, in the fleet. The, the, the buying and selling of illegal goods is always quite profitable. Mix that in with maybe some, like, market manipulation, and it works out pretty well. Okay, wait. Where, where, who wants these? Where are you at? Corvus. Corvus, you're nearby. I was like, you're somewhere around here. Dram, maybe, maybe. Um, because we do have like a couple capitals, so I don't necessarily need to buy a capital right now. Um, I got one little hiccup there that we got a little framey, but it was just for a moment. I, I don't think we're gonna be framey more consistently. I think we're still good. Um, but if, so I, yeah, what I was trying to say though, I don't think we need to buy a capital for a while. We could just pick up some some smaller ships. To round out the fleet and then bring one or one or two of the capitals we have at home with us. Um, I think that's a really good plan. So yeah, so we can sell these for two hundred fifty-six thousand, then we can buy these for for fifty thousand, and then go sell them for like a million. Um, this is this is going to be really really good stuff, chat. And is anyone else selling these for super cheap right now? No. Okay. Conta's den needs them desperately, so we'll go back and sell them to Conta. We're really low on supplies. We'll just pick some up from Conta's Den. That's okay. We, we have enough supplies to make it back over there. And if we, we can't make it, like, all the way over there, we can make it nearly there. We can make it, like, almost there. Powerful shields, having an overload overclock track, uh, targeting unit. Stable shields, durable. That's cool. Those are fine. Those are that, That's good. Those are just upsides. I don't know why we're getting them, though, chat. Like, why, why did that just happen? We got EXP just now, but that was EXP from trading. The ships didn't do anything. Maybe, maybe because, like, your cargo ships or whatever, like, your utility ships, you know, they would they, they get EXP from trading or something? I don't know. I don't know. 
moral of the story is I don't really feel like I earned um, like a, a, a ship like bit of a bit of ship like reputation there. I didn't do anything, and they were just like, "Here you go," and it's it's changing colors. It's it's a light show. Uh, turn the the blinker off and trade. And so again, yeah, this is this is literally gonna be like like hundreds of thousand. Okay, 290. I thought it was gonna be a little more. I was maybe overhyping that a little bit. My bad. Um, but we're 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 up to 600 grand, man. We're up to 600 grand. It's good good stuff. Does anyone want drugs? Kind of, but like not really. They're not two 214 is not enough to want to smuggle drugs around. Um, is anyone else selling these? Okay, Corvus. They only have 200 available though. Um, the fact that they're selling them just next door is nice for me. Armager battery, reliable and effective. The Armager medium caliber uh, cannon that prioritizes projectile velocity and range over sheer firepower, making for a weapon that pairs with high velocity kinetic armaments. Okay, 1100 range. That is a long range weapon. That's cool. I don't think we'd seen that one before, so I wanted to check it out. Hecaton class torpedo. I don't think we've seen this either. Supplementing is supposed to power the power. Oh, supplementing is supposed to power the powerful plasma uh, burst discharge. Okay, so it does energy damage. It's like the other hybrid weapons. I like those. I like the hybrid weapons a lot. Tac lasers I also like a lot, so I'm gonna buy them. What are you? Majira twin-linked railgun. Essence a little more than a pair of uh, twin-linked gallant-type magnetic accelerator cans with extended barrels. The Majira improves upon the range and firepower of the smaller sibling. Okay, so it's just a really long-range gun. Medium. This is a long-range large. This is the long-range mediums. Maybe. Maybe I could buy those. Make them work on something. Um, cause we do need kinetic weapons to, to fit out the, uh, the, the, like, onslaught or whatever we end up flying. Cause we don't, we don't really have, like, high-tech capitals back at home. We have rather low-tech capitals. So we will need some kinetic weapons for them. So I'm gonna go back up to, um, please don't attempt to kill me. Are you just a smuggler? Hmm. Supplies, ship holes, heavy machinery, and, uh, oh, and that's it. I think I'm gonna take them on. I think I wanna fight them. In general, uh, fighting the smugglers can be worth like a lot of cash. So I think I'm gonna chase them down. Lower flux capacity, better shields and stuff. That's fine. Uh, we should we should be able to win this fight like pretty easily. Um, they're they're just a smuggler, you know. If we can't win this fight, we mess something up. But we should be able to win this pretty easily. And uh, the the heavy machinery or heavy armaments they have could be a lot of money. It might be like literally a thousand of them or something. So, I'm definitely willing to um to try and you know kill these people for what they got. Try and see if I can't make some cash murdering them. What was that? What is that? What what is blowing up? Is that is that this thing's little drones? It has like special fighters. Is that what was exploding then? That was really weird, dude. Okay, so again, we don't do any hard flux damage, but as long as I keep the beams on them, they, they will drop their shields sometimes. And yeah, we, we can eventually EMP them. My engines just went out, dang it. Whatever, whatever. I'm, I'm just spinning, I'm just spinning. He's gonna hit me while, while my, my engines are revealed to him as well. He's gonna do a bunch of damage to me. I hate to see it. Okay, they're back online. They're back online. Turn around. Turn around a little ship. Okay, so yeah, we're we're winning. We will win this fight easily. Uh, I expected we could, but you know, I expected we could earlier and we, we got destroyed, so feels feels good to actually be winning. So we don't do much damage, but I'm turning off some of their systems with, with my EMPs here. And I'm keeping them, you know, on a they can't they can't like lower their shields safely. They can't ever like get their flux reduced, so. No, we're not we're not really like packing a huge bunch here, but we're doing something. We're doing something. Dang it, that's my engines off again. That's all right. That's okay. It's it's annoying, but it's okay. Um, this is man, this is such a slow fight. Our fleet just sucks so bad. We'll get it. We'll figure it out. We'll get it sorted. We'll get it sorted. This thing's going down, and then we can go back to pressuring the other ships. I just need—I need my allies with me. I don't do anything alone. I'm really useless alone. Is that my engines? Okay, only half of them went out. We're not fully burnt out. I got some engines left. Half your engines is good enough to, to at least like turn in the direction you want to turn. So, 
I'm happy with my half, 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 half my engines. What is, what is this? What are you? It's a friendly. So it must be the little fighters this thing produces. It's going like psycho mode. It, it just explodes. Um, it's really cool. I didn't realize it did that. Oh, and you know what? Well, this thing's under a lot of threat. I can, I can try and pressure it down. Come on, whatever, it's free, it's free. We'll go back to attacking this thing. I'm gonna go all out assault because I want my ships to um to like attack as much as they can. They're they're like chilling too much right now. I want them going ham. My engines, no, and I'm not even turning, so like he, he can get away with me or away from me like really easily. He's staying right in range of where my engines are or where my beams are. It, it kind of worked out. Okay, yeah, the full assault order definitely helped. We're definitely getting some some more like you know pressure put on. I need to fix the Archon. We just have to go home to do that. Um, the ship does nothing. Like, it, it gets nothing done. It is taking forever to get any, any kills whatsoever. So, we need to fix that. Even if it's meant to be supportive, like, it, it needs to be able to, like, put some amount of pressure on its own, you know? Because it, it, it currently really just isn't. Ship's overloaded. Might as well try to kill it. We're kind of doing something. I think it's just fleeing. Yeah, it's fleeing. We'll, we'll kill it, though, before it runs away. Okay, battle's over. So why did we fight them? Oh, because they're smugglers. Um, Moving to engage. Wait, we have to actually do the fight? Whatever. I think I can deploy them, like, from the left, right? How do you do that, chat? Does anyone know how you deploy them from the sides? There's there's a button. One of the, one of the loading screen tips, I swear. It was like... There's a way you can deploy your, your ships uh, from the sides when they full retreat. Oh, they're not full retreating. Never mind. Um, and I, I want to kill all of them because they, they I need, you know, I need every ship to die so they're not smuggling the goods away and whatever ships are remaining alive. So I, I have to take them all out. What even is this? I don't know. It's dead now. A Verity. Okay, I don't think I've seen that before. Excuse me. Is there anything left alive? We got anything else here? Okay, I was going to say there must be because we're still in the battle. There it is. There is at least one more ship here. And it's flying to us. It's not running away, so we will fight it. This thing can probably solo it. I would, I would just based on size of the ship and having the drones, I'm assuming it can solo it. Dude, honestly, the Quadra little IR lasers are way better than I thought they would be. They actually get some work done, man. Okay, claim victory, pursue them. Second command, handle it. And then all the ships go in. Even the even the brokey ones. Consider ship recovery, maybe. Honestly, with, with how weak our fleet is, maybe. But no, nah, none of that stuff, none of that stuff. Employ them as you click on the ship. The little deploy word shows over the sub ship. Click it again, watching it left and right. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. Um, so they didn't have many heavy armaments or anything, but they had 400 supplies. They were they were carrying quite a few supplies. That's actually super good. Um, that is easily worth it. And there are some ships, actually, that got away. Whatever, I'm not going to chase them down. Um, what am I doing? Do we have drugs to sell right now or anything? Like, is my inventory full of, full of stuff to sell? No. Oh, we're going up to magic. Or not magic, excuse me, hyper cell. I'm going to go buy another ship or two for my fleet. We're, get, we're kinda getting back at it, chat. We're kinda getting back at it. We're, we're we're progressing, sort of. You know, it's not great, but it's it's better than it was when we had literally no combat ships left. I'll say that much. It's better than it once was. I mean, I, we can't buy like a capital, but we could we could buy some cool stuff here. We could definitely get our hands on some some pretty powerful ships. So I don't need money right now. The, uh, the I mean, there's a lot of stuff I could do for the colony, to be fair. I was, I was going to say, we don't need anything at the colony, but that's a lie. Um, there's a lot of stuff we need from the colony. Uh, you know, like, to build at the colony, I mean. Um, like, like ground defenses. A way station? Oh, we don't even have a way station. It's really cheap, too. I'll go ahead and build this. It just helps with accessibility. It just, it just makes everything better. Um, you, you just, you're a much better colony if you have one of these. <laughs> it's much easier to trade with you and stuff, so we'll build one. Um, but I won't build anything else. There's some other stuff I would like to build, but we're, we're holding off till we have more cash for it. So we'll go black market, sort. Do you buy, you buying these? Yeah, they're paying decent for these. Is someone paying a lot for these, though? Because we did interrupt the, uh, delivery of these somewhere, maybe. 
Yeah, Ima's paying 330 for him. I, I probably should. I probably should. That being said, they're, they're being sold here. Um, I should sell them elsewhere, but I'm just selling them here, I think. Okay, let's look Let's look for a ship or two. Let's look for something that we could add into our fleet to make it a little stronger. What? What is this? It's a Trill, a Catalyst Frigate. The Trill was once a prototype vessel for a new type of flux core. Many an engineer has been looking for ways to make use of flux buildup over the centuries, and the Trill is one of the more successful attempts at such a ship. Se seemingly heavily un underarmed, the ship is, ha uses built-up flux to boost its singular weapon to perform at excess, perf uh, excess performance levels. Okay. What does the Flux Catalyst whole mod do? I assume it makes you do bonus damage versus as you build up Flux. Let me see if I can't find that in the Codex. Ship holes? No, 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 no. Uh, ship systems. Flux Catalyst, I believe it was called? Okay, it's not here or I'm misremembering the name. Um, but it's from a mod, so it's not like I expect it to be here. Um, you know, it's, it's not like in the base game. It's called Flux Catalyst, so I don't think it's there. I'm assuming it's just like you do 1% damage for every 1% extra flux you have. That's my guess for what it is. I could be wrong, but that's my guess. We could pick up a Kronos. That would be like all we would buy, but the Kronos is really good. That would be like all of our money. We could buy a Zenith for 100,000 less, though. I might, I might do that instead. That might be better. A Zenith and like uh, something else. Maybe a Zenith and a Fury. We could buy both of those for 400 grand. We could, we would still have some money left over. These are good ships. They would, they would help round out the fleet quite a lot. I'll do it. Let me, let me go to the black market first. Is there anything cool I want to buy here? I mean, we could just buy like a bunch of smaller ships. What do these do? Ent entropy amplifier, yeah. I think I'm gonna buy these, these three. The um the two the two uh tempests here and then the scarab. And then um one of the big ships. Well, just one of them. I don't know. It's more money, but I, I, it's a it's a really good ship. I really, really highly value the uh the Zenith. I think it's really good. IBB pin, sure. Anime character. 130 grand. Maybe. Before we before we lost all our fleets, I'm sure we could, but now I'm like, maybe. Um, and they want a carrier from me. They'd pay me 20 grand for my little shepherd here. It's more money than a shepherd normally costs, but I still don't want to. And I know the location of a Hersvelger blueprint. And you could for just the price of a million bucks. Hmm? What is this? Is this like a capital ship or something? Why is he trying to charge me a million bucks to do this? They charge like 20 grand for stuff like this normally. This must be a capital ship of some kind. Um, sadly, I can't pay for it, but at least we know out there in the world there's a capital ship, a uh, Hellsvigor bl blueprint. Um, like, it exists. We, we know that for sure because he wanted me to buy it from him. So I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere. And we need more crew, I'm realizing. And we also need some fuel. And maybe some drugs. Maybe, probably not, but maybe. Yeah, they're buying them for 207 at the Legio Infernalis, but like that's just not enough. I need I need someone paying like a lot. Ooh, the pirates paying uh, 800 for these? Okay, okay. Now we're talking. Um They actually are this they're 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 paying they're the same place that's buying these, so I shouldn't have sold them. Um I'm like literally going to buy them back. It's a waste of money, but I'm going to do it. Oh wait, can I buy all of these? I can. Um, cause they, they just want these in this way more money for, for selling these. It's, it's way more profit. So we'll do that. I should not have, have purchased the, sold them in the first place. That's all that means. Okay. We don't have enough money to buy the rest of those. Buy another 125 of them. So we're flat broke, but we can sell these just next door to uh Karas as well as these, um, and make a lot of money. I say a lot of money. We'll make a little bit of money, enough money to not be flat broke. And then we'll go home and fix our ships. We'll go home and fix our ships. And then uh, maybe maybe carry a capital with us and go uh, bounty hunting again or exploring again. Um, I don't I don't really know. How's the fleet looking, chat? This is respectable. I could go bounty hunting with this alongside a capital? For sure, for sure. 
Yeah, yeah. I, th I think we're, we've, we've, you know, we've drug ourselves back up off the ground into a respectable fleet. Um, we have weapons to, like, kit out our ships with and stuff, so the, the ships are, like, naked right now, but they won't be forever. We will, we will in no time, you know, no time flat have them kitted out, so. I think we're good. I think we're, you know, again, not perfect, but I, I think we're doing all right. Okay, so we're going to sell these for 130 grand, and these should be a lot of money. Yeah, 350 grand, so. Um, I do not believe we had this much money when we left, or when before we bought this stuff. I think we made a lot of profit just now, so I'm quite happy with that. I'll buy a Typhoon, uh, Typhoon Reaper launcher. They're good. They're really good. Full flat cannons are also pretty solid. I don't mind picking up a couple of those. I don't I don't think we have that many at home. Um, this is the Insano weapon. I don't want that. Amboss heavy auto cannon. Scaling up auto cannon is to side loading with high explosive munitions with, uh, while limited by relatively short range. Shield firepower and armor breaking which makes the weapon fairly effective. All right, yeah, whatever. I don't wanna buy it. Maybe some grav beams. Maybe this high intensity laser. And then that's it. That's gonna, that's gonna be it for what I'm buying here. Unless there's something cool on the open market. I'll buy those. They're really cheap. They're they're decent little point defense options sometimes. And is anyone selling these? Okay. Yo, the hegemony took over um Ultima Astrid in Rubicon? That that's definitely used to be under control of uh of the uh whatever they're called. The 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 Legio uh Legio Infernalis. So, we could go pick up the these for 100. You know, we could buy them for 100 and sell them for 400. So, we could run over to the Legio Infernalis, or the wherever they live, but it's so far away. It's like all the way over here. Yeah, it's really far away. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know if that would really be like as worth it. I think I'm just gonna head home. I'm just gonna head home. Where's my world? Where are we? We're, we're here? Yeah, yeah, okay. So let's just head home and fix up the ships. We'll, we'll do that. Maybe we'll go, we'll go over there in the future, like after we fix the ships up. But I think goal number one is gonna be getting the, the fleet ready to go. Um, oh, and mining is done. Let's go, let's go. The way station is being constructed, like starting construction, but the mining being done is good stuff. Um, I'm not gonna worry about all that stuff. But the colony itself, I do wanna look at. 16 grand a month, okay, okay. And that's without this being built. What happens if I improve you? Increase the number of medium patrols by one? That's pretty cool. Just increasing patrols, I didn't expect that. This increases uh, stability, yeah. Which is good, but I, you can get it fixed on your own. You can have 10 stability without putting a point on that, so I kinda don't wanna. Um, eventually, I would like commerce on this colony, and I would like to uh, put it, put the story, like uh, make the commerce better via story points, because that is just a multiplier to the money you make. Um, and I don't want to do, I generally limit myself to two, two upgrades per colony just cause it gets so costly. It's not like a, a, I think it's too OP or anything. It's just, you can spend all your story points really, really quickly. If you let yourself, you know, upgrade lots of different, um, lots of different things on, on each colony. So I limit to two per, but, um, you know, I don't know. You could, you could choose to do more or less, but we will, we will live our two per and hopefully, hopefully that'll, that'll get us going. But we're up to, you know, a decent bit of money each month. Not as good as I was, you know, hoping for by now, but it's a decent bit. Are you chasing me? What are you doing? Just, it just happens to be going this direction. That's fine. Store all of this stuff. We have a lot of stuff. We've been out there for a while. Also, we probably, you know, like we lost all our ships. I don't think we've been home since then. So I think we're putting away all the ship weapons that we got back. No, we got no ship weapons back because we lost the ships. Never mind. And I think we maybe we even have been home since then. So double down on that being wrong. That is, that is extra wrong. It is wrong twice. Okay, so. You're the brokey one. Y'all are fixed up. But you suck. I'm gonna fix this. Um, the graviton beams are okay, but you need to be something that can pack a punch. Um, maybe we'll even go, uh, like, instead of the graviton beams, like ion pulsers. And then uh, something in the middle that can, that can pack a punch. Heavy blaster or something. That's too heavy, though. I want the I want the ship to pretty much just tank, so I will just do this. The, these have ammo or whatever, but they they they're a little more punchy than the the graviton beams, and this will actually apply hard flux, so it's actually gonna have some amount of pressure. I think that's better. Um, this one has a heavy blaster. What if what if we kept this one with a heavy blaster? What if we went like all the way up on um flux, and then actually also did this too? And I will go uh, shield stabilized and hardened shields as, as well. And then super light stuff on the sides. If we're going heavy blaster in the middle, I want these to be like as light as possible. 
Um, these outrange the other things, but I might put it. I might put it still. Is this pretty light on flux? Eh, it's kind of high, but I don't know. I don't know. How are these on flux? Very, very low. I can throw those there. Um, so we're overfluxing by like you know we're generating way too much flux to, to we're not dissipating it, but whatever, it's fine. And we'll get some missiles here, just some some random ones. The salamanders are fine. Um, so this is fine for now. Fine for now. It should it should you know do good. It should be fine. Missile hard point. Um, mediums, two mediums, and a uh, uh, that's that's a lot. I didn't realize that. I think I think that was mentioned to me earlier, but. Until I saw it myself just now. I don't think I quite realized that it had two mediums on it. Uh, we could just go, like, pulse laser on this bad boy. That's a lot of flux it's generating for a ship its size, but it'll, it'll, it'll pack a punch, man. It's going to pack a punch. Auxiliary thrusters all day. Um, you have these. These are the Terminator drones. Okay. Uh, maybe hardened shields. I wouldn't mind that. Just make the shields a little tankier. And then this one I want to have, like, way different. Um... I want this one to be like a longer range like support ship. So I'm going to do the the torpedoes there and then double double uh uh graviton beam. So this thing is just going to sit super long range and beam from like forever away. It's it's absolutely going to be like a mile away when it hits people. It should be good. How many missiles does this have? Only two. I'm going to go ahead and go missile racks on this bad boy even even for the one missile. I think it's going to be worth it. It it can fire off, you know, just two more missiles now. So it's not, it's not a lot, but I think it'll be worth it. And we're, we're totally fine on flux. We're way over flux uh, generation. So this ship will just sit long range. I'll probably have it escort something. Um, and it'll just be like a support. Chemists are also carriers. They're neat. Yeah, it's really cool. Not many frigates get to be carriers. And especially not with Terminator drones. These things are good. Like a Terminator drone goes hard. So I, I really like them. I think they're, they're quite good. Um, the synergies on this bad boy. Of course, we're going to put some missiles on. What missiles we're going to choose? I don't know yet. Could put these. Yeah, we'll just do those. They're 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 good missing. Like they're finishers, but even if you fire them like against shields, they do they they can apply good pressure. So I like them a lot. Um, I want some point defense on this bad boy because it's gonna be flying around on its own. It needs to be able to handle business on its own. Um, I might even put point defense like right here on the front. Um, no, it needs to pack a punch. It needs to pack a punch. I I can't give it all point defense so. Um, we don't have any weapons for it. Yeah, we can put these on. That's not really what I wanted to put on it, but we can. It works. Um, no, no, uh, no, 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 no things on it or whatever. No mods. That's kind of insane looking. This doesn't feel like the greatest ship ever, but we'll live with it. We'll live with it. Um, it applies like no hard flux, which sucks. Maybe like one one beam, one one. Do we have not beam, but one uh, one auto laser. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit of hard flux it can generate, and it's a little cheaper um, on on flux like generation here, and then on op as well. So hopefully this is okay. Hopefully the scarab does does the job. Now now the zenith. I know how I want to build this. Well, I don't know exactly how I want to build it, but I've built many zeniths before. I'm not I'm not so fl like, confused. I'm not gonna flounder as much. Um, these, these are fine. They're pretty solid. Bastion Cracker. What? When hitting Holar Armor deals 10% of the target's maximum hit points is bonus damage. It gets modular stations and ships to the module or apparent hole with the most hit points counts for bonus damage. Wow! Okay, so it's like an anti-capital. It's like an anti-capital type ship. That's cool. Um, I think I'm gonna go for, like, these instead. Just because we can fire these, like, over well, a lot of these over the course of a battle. And the, the uh, attack lasers. I really like the triple attack laser on the front of these bad boys. Um, There are more missiles we could put on the side. We, we need missiles with some tracking on the side for sure. If we're going to put missiles here, they, they got to have tracking. Um, Do these have track? They do, right? Pretty good? Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's a lot of missiles on this bad boy. I definitely am down to put on this real quick. Boom. Just, just straight away. Uh, and then point defense at the back. Do we have cheaper point defense? We do. We do. Um, crank that up all the way, probably. That's a lot of flux dissipation, but it's all right. I, th I think it's I think it's very worthwhile. Um, I might even bring it down a little so I can go advanced optics and ITU. Okay, okay. And then crank it back up all the way. All right. 
Um, that's pretty solid. Oh, we, we left the fighter bay empty. No. Um, how many story points are we at? 11? I can do that. I can do that for sure. Hmm. These are some bows, right? Yeah, the anti-shield missiles. I don't, I don't think that'll be too bad. I think some long bows will do good on this. Because um, I don't have anything that really, really pressures the shields that well. So I think the longbows will help out with that quite a lot. Okay. I think this ship is pretty well made. I might even control this ship. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what to pilot. We could pilot this, or we're piloting this right now. We could pilot it like a Tempest, but I think I'm just going to pilot this thing. Where am I? There we go. So someone should pilot this. Then one of one of the captains should be on this instead of one of these, maybe. Um. Yeah, the extra the shield one makes me want to put him there. The higher the higher level guy with the shield thing. Okay, so that's fine. Um, let's actually make sure that the Zenith is built that has the weapon group set up correctly, the way I would want them to. Uh, the Paladin that's auto firing. PD's auto firing. Tac lasers auto firing. Okay, everything is auto firing except the missiles. Yeah, I'm okay with that, and I want them linked. Um, I'll just control the missiles. Nah, I will. I will let the missile these these annihilators auto fire, and I'll have the tech the tachyon lance controlled, and then I'll I'll control the the gorgons as well for for like killing stuff. Okay, this seems fine. I'm gonna drag these down to the bottom because I prefer it this way, and I let I just left them up here because it was like easy. But we we have some ships now, like a real fleet, so I want to get them organized. And this is organized enough. Uh, this is this is good enough, it seems. I'll put that there. These are near each other. These are near each other. This can go here. Now it's it's like organized by size, and all the near ships are near each other. The similar ships, that is. Um, so let's go into our storage. That's I can hit the wrong button 20 times. We could take the Kingfisher with us. And I will take these, of course. We're taking back our utility ships. How much does it cost to fix the King ship, the Kingfisher? Probably a lot of money. Why does that keep showing up? What? What's? Was I hitting a button or something? Oh, I was. I was. I had my hand on the A key on accident. Um. So what does it cost to restore? Six hundred grand. Okay. Structural damage and degraded life support is honestly not that terrible. These are okay. Glitch sensor array is also not that big of a deal. I mean, the reduced weapon weapon range is not great, but it's it's not the worst thing ever. So I'm I'm okay. We we can bring this this thing in. I might even fly this thing. This could be a ship I would pilot. Um, I can throw a Tachyon Lance on here for sure. And then, um, something, something in here on the medium. Ion, Ion Beam is fine with me. Either that or, like, a yeah, Graviton Beam could also be pretty good, I think. Tac Lasers, that's okay. And some point defense back here. Squadron Mining Laser, they're really cheap, but they'll, they'll help. They will help. They'll get the job done. And these, these do, these do track. We're firing, we're, we, we're firing off a lot of these. A lot of the ships seem to have these, but that's all right. Um, so we're not really putting any pressure on the shields right now. So I wanna, I wanna put something that can pressure the shields, like this HVD. Um, there is this actually. What's the DPS on this thing? Hundred by two. DPS is two seventy five. It's like way better. Is it way more total flux though? It's way less flux efficient. Flux, flux per second, 175, flux per second. Oh, more flux per second. Okay, so um, this is less flux per second, so I'll do that. I'm gonna in these small turrets here. I'm gonna go psycho mode and go point defense. Um, largely because I don't want them, like, I don't want to spend more and more flux on anything. So just a little front facing point defense is always good in my opinion. We could up the range of the beams. That, that would make them outrange the, uh, the, the HVD there a little, but that's fine. Um, I probably will. So ITU and advanced optics. And then I think I just want to up the, the vents as much as possible and the capacitors. So this 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 ship should should function well. Could not say that, but it should. You can you can just auto fire. Okay. Links, not alternating links. Okay, okay. So yeah, I think I might pilot the Kingfisher instead of the Zenith. I don't know. We'll leave we'll leave ourselves on the Zenith for now. Um, let me drag this up. Just go here. Crew under strength. We can sort that out. We can sort that out. There's plenty of people here for us. We're barely under strength anyways. Okay. Um, store these things. Store the marines. I don't know why we have three marines. Where did they come from? 
repair. Now, do I want any of these capitals? Either of these capitals or any, I don't know. I don't know how many, yeah, more than either. Any would be correct. So this has the special modifications, which you can't remove unless you pay away um, in structural damage. So we could, we could take this. This isn't so bad. I wouldn't mind, and we'll fly this. I, I keep going back and forth on what I'm flying, but if we're gonna have a capital, I might as well fly it. Um, so this is this is a good fleet, yo. This is a very respectable fleet. And I should have someone captaining this. I can't I can't have you know someone captaining this and not not the Zenith. Um, and don't we have a point defense fighter or captain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want the the point defense captain on here. You don't have any elite skills, yo. Um. It's tough, man. This is tough. Oh, a lot of these skills would be really good made elite. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll live with it. I'll live with it. I'll do it and just live with it. I'm not going to worry about it. So let's get this kit, this kit, or this ship kitted out. Um, strip, strip everything off of it. Large missiles. Uh, probably going to go with the double squalls. That's what it had on it. Um, either that or these. These are also pretty good. The Merv launchers. But I'm just going to go for double squall. And then, do we have two Giga Cannons? The Giga Cannons were, like, really good. We could use these things. Could rock double Titanomachy. So we have plenty of other weapons to uh, to generate flux with, so... That, that should be fine. We can go in on these bad boys. More and more beams. We have these IR Auto Lances here. Ya yeah, ya yeah, ya. Yeah. So, that's a lot of, like, flux generation for us. Well, these, these should be able to, you know, reach their... Oh, interfere. Oh, you can only put one. I forget it ruins your flux if you put more than one. Okay. We'll just do a different beam over here then. Um, and they're hard points, but they should still be able to, like, beam, like, you know, because it's a cone. They can beam, like, you know, directly for it. It should be all right. If I'm wrong about that, we can put something else on, but I think it'll be okay. We could put this high-intensity laser. So we, we have, like, uh, shield stuff hole stuff well like all three of these are for shields these are for hole and this is for armor so we're pretty well rounded right now um do we have any more of the the attack lasers i really wish we did i sure wish we did but it seems we don't some little mini blasters there um hmm, <laughs> we're not going to be that close I'm, I'm planning on staying at a really long range so i don't i don't really want to get any short range short short range weapons on the front of this bad boy 900, 1,000. Yeah, the rest of these are 1,000, right? Yeah, so. Um, <laughs> heavy Maulers are 1,000 range. This thing is 1,100 range. Um, And these have ITU, or excuse me, these have um advanced optics, so maybe the 1,100 range would, would be warranted. And it's, it's anti-shield in particular, so that is a way to apply some pressure to shields. Um, medium hybrid turret. Can I put missiles on this bad boy? No? You just put energy or, or, uh, or ballistics? That's fine. Um, hmm. Flat cannon back here for sure. I could put flat cannons up here too. A couple of flacky boys there. It's not so bad. It's a lot of point defense, but we, we need a lot of point defense. Um, I, I think, you know, a respectable amount is solid. So, the weapon flux is insanely high. It's like insanely high. But I, it, it should be a lie. These these won't be fire. Like th this is like 450 plus. Yeah, this is like 500 that won't really be firing. So it, it's it's a little better. It's a little better than it might seem. Um, I don't know. Maybe we could take some stuff off, but it it, it seems fine. We could even do the uh, this thing as well. The flux distributors. There we go. Um, I would like hardened shields if I could. Sableye shields could help too. That would that would lower the flux a little bit. I put hardened shields on this bad boy? Okay. And then the rest in, in the passages there. Let's go up to 70. Weapon groups. Oh, dear lordy. Oh, my. Oh, Mickey. Squalls auto fire. Um, linked. That's fine. Um, do I need to control anything on this thing? Not really. I think controlling this could be for the best. Like, just the, the, the twin linked railgun. Everything else should be, like, fine to fire on its own. Like, these should just fire all the time. These should fire all the time. Um, I guess I'll hold off on firing this when the shields are down, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, this is a capital. It should be able to take on another capital. A, a big old boy. What about you? What are you? Standard battleship, sure. 
That's a long range weapon, man. Wow. I, I knew it was going to be like long range, but I did not expect it to be like that long. Okay, and yeah, and you can fire like forward, so we should we should be all right. I mean, we're we're like destroying this ship, but I, I can't help but feel like it's just not like well prepared for us. Uh, like it, it, we're just countering it or something, because like it, it it's doing nothing. This isn't even like close. This Pegasus seems pretty well made though. I think I'm happy with how it's made. We're applying like a lot of a lot of like you know flux pressure. We're we're applying a lot of like armor damage with the IR auto lances or whatever or hull damage. Uh, I, I think it's a pretty solid ship. And the range is just disgusting. You know the range is really good. The uh this we do have energy bolt coherer, which does increase the the range of all non beam weapons on this ship. Um, non-beam energy weapons, which we're not taking advantage of at all. To be fair, we're completely ignoring that. Um, but the range is still pretty good. I'm okay with it. But maybe, like, swapping this stuff out for non-beam stuff could be better. But I don't know. The ship, it's functioning, so I'm just gonna let, you know, let this dog lie. Um, and to restore it would cost a lot of cash, but we, we could get rid of this stuff. Um, I think both of these. We get rid of both of these, I'm pretty sure, so. This is just purely a negative. And this is, of course, a negative. Some, some of the special mods like this or whatever that come on ships, like like these, are, are positive, but this is purely a negative, so. That's fine, that's fine. All right, not enough crew to keep all ships combat ready. How many more crew do we need? We just bought some crew. Okay, a couple hundred more. Because we'll lose some eventually, so a couple hundred more is fine. Okay, chat. This is not bad. We we have a fleet again. We have a fleet again. Um, we're, we're not flat broke. How's the colony doing? Can I buy something for it right now? Is there anything I can convince myself to spend my money on? This, honestly, and yeah, I will. This will help us so much. Having this up and running will make the uh, the colony so much better. It's extra stability, but on top of that, it physically protects the colony. It's, it's, it's massive, it's a huge deal. Okay, can I install an item anywhere? I don't think I can, I just wanna make sure. Oh, we can install a gamma core here. That's not what I meant to do, though. Install item. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, there's no items. I, I would know if I had an item I can install here. Yeah. Um, and we already have the item there. So, in 50 days, it'll be a little better. In 90 days after that, it'll be even better. Um, and then shortly after all of that, it'll be grown. I mean, not shortly. It'll take a while still, but eventually it'll be grown. Um, and I could get less, less, like, like I could get more money. Oh, no, I'm losing money and uh, growth if I turn the free port off. So, I'm not going to do that. Free port's staying on. Even with the uh, the hit to uh, the, the our, our stability. Alrighty, folks. Um, I think this is gonna do it for today. I think this is gonna do it for the star sector today. It's a it's a little early. Uh, you know, normally I'd, if I was just doing star sector, I'd play till like 1 p.m. But I want to do a little extra Elden Ring because we played like star sector till two yesterday, so I didn't play any Elden Ring. I got I got distracted. So we are gonna play some Elden Ring. Some days be like that, yeah. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna move on a little early to the Elden Ring and you know so we can get in like an hour and a half of it or so Maybe maybe a little more than an hour and a half. Maybe like two hours. We'll see how tilted I get by the giant But thank you so much for being here for the star sector folks Hey everybody quist gaming here if you're enjoying the content, please remember to like comment and subscribe It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time